usang magpabalik gobyerno. The counterwhite and red area operations as one of the activities under LCAP aim to persuade individuals who are affiliated with communist terrorist groups under ECLIP or the Enhanced Comprehensive Local Integration Program to give them another chance and to reintegrate them into the mainstream society. I have been advocating peaceful means of ending the terroristic acts of the CNTs equipped with Executive Order No. 70, the Regional Task Force to End Local Communist Armed Conflict or the RTF LCAP. And they were made aware of the CTG's dual ideology, organizational network, modus operandi, grand design and repercussion for communistic over strategies, tactics, and techniques. With that today, I would like to present to you, sir, the 46 communist terrorist surrenderists. They have voluntarily surrendered to authorities along with these firearms through joint counterwide and red area operations of the Police Regional Office Calabarzon, together with the Armed Forces Southern Luzon Command, ready to take their oath of allegiance to the Philippine flag, sir. Pero siya po yung walang tigil na nagpo-propaganda sa amin dahil para daw sa aming kapakanan na kami daw po yung magbalik loob sa bahamahala. Dahil nga naririnig ko rin po namin eh, sa mga balita na meron daw yung siya para sa mga rebelde yung sumusubo na kailangan daw mamuhay ng mapapilato. Di po ngayon naman po ba? delineated the responsibilities of the regional commands or the regional offices from the DIPOS and from terrorism. Henceforth, police regional offices will be focused on anti-criminality. Together with the regional offices, 40%, 40% of the RPSP will remain with the regional offices. The city mobile groups will remain 100% with the regional offices. And this will be, they will be called either CRTs, SRTs or Special Response Teams, Crisis Response Teams, Special Operations Units, or Special Weapons and Tactics Team. Yan po ang 40% ng mobile force and the city mobile groups. At the same time, 60% of this RPSB will become area public safety battalions under the DIPOS or the, or the area police office or command. They will be deployed in their own regions. All re These are two assets that we need to have with us. Two skills, investigation, marksmanship. We are policemen, we hold the gun, we always have our uniform, we always have our badge. Ang kailangan po natin, we should exercise and be able to follow the rule of law when we are using our firearms. The other one is recruitment and selection. Recruitment and selection of TNP applicants. Everyone have to go down to criminology universities and colleges. We should have to sell our Philippine National Police. We also go with what you call uh, community service oriented policy or the Bayanihan 2 spirit. Henceforth, we should be very visible in our barangays. Tayo po ay makikipag-cooperate o makikipag-ugnayan sa mga barangay upang malaman nila na ang pulis ay kanilang katuwang sa lahat ng bagay at sa lahat ng sitwasyon na mamiyar sa barangay nila. Mali. Um, sa inyo pong lahat, nais po po kayong pasalamatan dahil po sa tulong nyo sa ating kapulisan. 
Huwag po nating pababayaan na babuyin ng ating organisasyon, mga gagong pulis. Isubbong natin, pulihin natin, arestuhin natin. Tulad ng sinasabi ko sa inyo, be sure to, to uh, separate criminals from those those uh, who are not who are uh, uh, who have done some irregularities pag criminal na police ipreso nyo kaagad wala akong pakialam kung naka kung nakiniforme yan hindi pero pag ang pinag-uusapan ay irregularity yan magkakaiba yan that's why uh, the director for operations together with DIDN no general alfred cruz and general barney marcos are still jotting down what are supposed to be placed as criminal acts of a, of a PNP from the uh, irregularities. With this, sa lahat po sa inyo, maraming maraming salamat po. Let us continue collaborating with the communities and all concerned sectors in your respective areas of responsibility. Sa lahat po ng NPA surrenderers, maraming maraming salamat po at makinig po kayo sa amin. Naway, magiging partner po tayo sa program sa pagkap, sa pag uh, pag-progresibo ng ating bayan. Maraming salamat na huwag patuloy tayong pagpalain at patubayan ng ating pong may kapal. Mabuhay ang pro-foreign.